Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day, Monday, the 8th of August 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignaler.com, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and uh, decipher as to uh, what is uh, going on here, folks, in terms of uh, market reaction today. Asian markets uh, overnight certainly reacted positively to the uh, stronger payrolls number from the US. There's certainly no rate hike concerns um, embedded there. Uh, you had the Shanghai up almost 1%, the Hang Seng, the Nikkei both up uh, handsomely. Okay, US markets certainly reacting negatively now, currently trading uh, negative. Dow Jones negative, SP negative, NASDAQ certainly negative as well. Okay, so rate hike concerns certainly starting to. Uh, to feed through okay in terms of the uh, european markets initially the FTSE was certainly uh, very powerful very strong uh, hitting a pivot high of 6820 6830 before it came back quite sharply okay on the back of uh, we had concerns with regard to china chinese data out overnight uh, imports certainly weaker import uh, in, in terms of uh, exports for the eurozone uh, exports to the us okay so if import data certainly is weaker than expected again it certainly hurts the market Okay, we had concerns with regards to commodities as well, uh, weakness in commodity imports as well. And then that was uh, subsequently negated due to the fact that uh, we had uh, concerns, well, basically concerns by some of the OPEC members and they wanted to potentially discuss a, uh, a freeze in the price of oil. So again, that certainly helped oil retrace and rally higher. Okay, if I bring up the chart of the price of oil for you. Okay, let's just bring up the chart of oil. Certainly show you here as well. You can see the chart of crude. Just on the 60 minute chart, you clearly see the clear run up from here. Okay, so uh, certainly an inverted head and shoulders potential here. Uh, but for now, certainly looking at uh, potential resistance on the price of oil. Currently finding resistance here around the $43 level, okay, on the price of oil. So again, initially bearish uh, price action due to the fact that uh, we had uh, a drop in imports from uh, China. Uh, for commodities and generally for European exports before we subsequently had a rally on the back of obviously this news regarding a potential freeze in the price of oil thereby helping the uh, exports. So certainly a mixed set of data there okay right and uh, so if we uh, focus on the rest of the economic data as well uh, China Japan obviously like I explained higher uh, you had Chinese exports higher to a large extent, but that's only relatively to China. OPEC plans, informal talks, etc. I've discussed that as well. German industrial production came in stronger. French business sentiment and GDP slightly on the stronger side. And then we had Eurozone, Centex investor confidence certainly coming out stronger, thereby helping European stocks. So let's bring up the chart of the German DAX. Now, the daily chart of the German DAX today has put in a potential topping tail at resistance. Obviously, revisiting that gap fill resistance, folks. Okay, so... Horizontal resistance has certainly held in the German DAX. If we do break this key resistance low at the zone at 10,480, then the next potential resistance is gap fill above, which is at 10,730. So just bear that in mind, okay? 10,730 is your next resistance on the German DAX. 60 minute chart, the German DAX at the moment, you have an unfilled gap. Again, it's all about that unfilled gap below. Okay, so potential support on fill gap at 10,370. Then obviously if we sell off even further, 10,280 is your support zone. For now, it's consolidating. Bearish consolidation for now looks weak. The German DAX failed to make higher highs, intraday double top, and now making lower highs. And again, that gap fill below. Certainly market is vulnerable to closing that gap. So looking for weakness, okay? In terms of uh, the French CAC now, let's bring up the French CAC for you. Okay, so French CAC certainly closed the gap. Okay, regardless, so uh, certainly weaker than the German DAX and went below and closed the gap around the 4410 zone. Okay, and again, looking for lower lows and lower highs. Okay, on the French CAC 60 minute chart, the French CAC again, you have higher highs and higher lows, but mm, certainly seems vulnerable. Okay, it certainly seems vulnerable uh, to a breakdown, especially given the fact that we have started to trade out of this potential uh, rising bullish. Uh, channel given the fact also that you've uh, closed the gap and you've uh, hit your inverted head and shoulders target certainly does remain weak okay so daily chart the french CAC again you held that 575 percent and you held the 200 ma and again indicating weakness and indicating uh, a, a price or a movement lower in terms of uh, the equities themselves okay so again looking for a move lower 
Let's bring up the FTSE 100 now. The daily chart of the FTSE 100. Again, you've held resistance at 6800, 6805. Okay, so again, that certainly is holding your resistance zone for now. 60 minute chart at the moment, you failed to make a higher high or test the previous high. So again, you just need to uh, take that and be concerned. Uh, from my perspective, you're looking at a potential or conf a brewing HS formation as well. So again, watch out, watch this pattern very carefully, and it'll be interesting to see which way this market goes. Okay, so again, with regards to the uh, HS formation. Okay, so keep an eye on that. Okay, so again, potential for a HS. Daily chart at the moment, you're looking at a lower high. Uh, again, same concept here, folks. Take your left shoulder, connect it across. You've got your left shoulder here, your head. Okay, and now we're just making this right shoulder. So it'll be interesting to see how long this right shoulder can last. Okay, and uh, how this uh, shoulder will react. So again, HS, take your pivot high. Okay, take it to your pivot low. Okay, so again, looking for the right shoulder, looking for a flush lower. So Again, can US markets create that weakness and cause the US FTSE to move lower? Very, very good question. Okay, the answer to that, we'll soon find out. Okay. Again, daily chart, you have resistance at 6805, so FTSE 100 certainly has some turbulence here, okay? On the weekly chart, the FTSE though, if you, if you do clear that 6805, then the next ideal level is uh, you're seeing is at uh, 6870. That's your next potential resistance zone, okay? In terms of Euro stocks, let's move on to Euro stocks now. There we go. So daily chart, the Euro stocks, clearly a topping tail. Okay, so clearly indicating weakness. That's one of the reasons why I'm actually short the Euro stocks, folks. Okay, just declaring that. It's one of the reasons why I'm actually short, given the fact that the German DAX has held resistance as well, indicating weakness. 60 minute chart at the moment, you've held that uh, horizontal resistance and are looking for a move lower. The 10 minute chart, we did close the gap below. Well, sorry, we haven't closed the gap below. You can feel gap at 29.72, so it needs to be potentially closed. Again, looking for weakness there as well. Uh, no failure to make high highs. Okay, so again, we're making lower lows, lower highs. So again, looking for weakness on the Euro stock. So, Looking for a flush, okay, on the euro stocks themselves. Certainly looking for weakness here, especially after we broke this uh, key uh, bullish channel as well. Market certainly clearly broke out, obviously moving higher and looking weak from that perspective. So, looking for a move lower on the euro stocks as well, okay, folks. Right, so I think that's a summation really of uh, the markets at present. Again, the oil is now into resistance, so indicating risk aversion. US markets are stalled, weaker Chinese. Import status certainly is hell, 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 hurting the rest of the market, and you are looking for a risk off tone, especially given the fact that strong Friday strong uh, jobs data indicated or certainly triggered uh, the rate hike concerns as well. On that note, please do visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the potential bonus. Goodbye now.